Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about the Equinox, and in today's class, I'm going to prove that today, March the 20th, is not the Equinox. March the 20th will not be the Equinox for a very long time, in fact, until they change the calendar again, and that's what we're going to use to prove that today, March the 20th, is not the Equinox. And that is the history of the Gregorian calendar. Now, we're over here at Britannica.com forward slash topic forward slash Gregorian hyphen calendar where we're looking at the encyclopedias or at least Britannica's historical account of the Gregorian calendar and how it came to be. Now, the Gregorian calendar is the solar dating system now in general use here in the United States and in many other countries around the world. We see here that it was Pope Gregory VIII that proclaimed this calendar in 1582, and that's why they call it the Gregorian calendar, named after Pope Gregory. It was the replacement for the Julian calendar which had been in effect since about 45 years before the birth of Christ. Now when we scroll on down in the web page we see the problems with the Julian calendar and why Pope Gregory felt the need to reform the calendar and that was the progression of the earth. As it turns out the earth has what they call a wobble effect or a progression and the seasons will change over time. In other words if you go into the future a number of thousands of years you will be celebrating summertime in December and wintertime in June. You can see how that wobble effect caused a problem for Pope Gregory in 1582 because his equinoxes were already off. See how in Britannica.com we read that by the Julian reckoning the solar year comprised of 365 and a half days and it also had leap years like we do now where they add a leap day every four years. It goes on to say a slight inaccuracy in the measurement caused the calendar dates of the seasons to regress almost one day per century. This is what we're talking about when we say that the seasons will be off if you go into the future without updating or changing the calendar once again. We see here that it says that the solar year comprising more precisely 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, 45.25 seconds. So in other words, the Julian calendar just like the Gregorian calendar is off by about 11 or 12 minutes. You can imagine that this 11 or 12 minutes will have an effect over time. Well, you see that that 11 or 12 minutes caused the calendar to be off by 14 days between the time of the Emperor Constantine and Pope Gregory. In other words, during Constantine's time, the equinox was falling on March the 21st. But by the time we got to Pope Gregory, it was falling on March the 11th. So that's why it says here that... Pope Gregory based his reform on restoration of the vernal equinox then falling on March the 11th to the date March the 21st it had in AD 325 the time of the Council of Nicaea. It goes on to say that the equinox was on March the 25th during the Messiah's time. Well that 11 or 12 minutes seems to be adding up and it will always add up creating the need to reform the calendar periodically. The problem with that idea is that they rioted in the street the last time they updated the calendar so they're hesitant to do it again and the calendar has not been updated since 1582 but what are they doing to correct the problem? Well they're just changing the date of the equinox instead of claiming it to be on March the 21st 
like it was in 1582. Now they're telling us that it falls on March the 20th. But when you look at this very closely, a problem is identified because of simple mathematics. And that is that if we lost 11 days over the course of about 1200 years from 325 AD to 1582 AD, then we should have lost more than one day from the year 1582 to the year 2021. Now, it's been a long time since I graduated from engineering school, but this is the way the math looks like from where I'm standing. You lost 10 days from 325 to 1582. That equates to about one day for every 125.7 years. In other words, if they're saying that the equinox is March the 20th in the year 2021, if we go 125 years in the future, then they should be telling us that the equinox is on March the 19th. Okay, but when we come in and we divide 125.7 years per day from the time up between they declared the equinox to be March the 21st in 1582 till today, we should have lost three and a half days. Unless, of course, the Earth and or the Sun change speeds on us, we should be losing days at the same rate we were during Pope Gregory's time. And from 1582, we should have lost 3.5 days instead of one day. In other words, the Sun should cross the equator on March the 18th, if not March the 17th. So something's not right here. Why are they telling us that the equinox is on March the 20th when there are so many videos and channels out there proving that the equinox is falling earlier? Well, I believe it's because they're still worried about those riots in the street if they were to come out and tell us the truth that we need a new calendar, that our calendar is off. You say, well, why would that be so important? Well, you have to remember the holy feast days that you find written over in the book of Leviticus in chapter 23. Those are extremely important to a lot of people. And if you start twerking around with those, they're going to get really, really upset thinking you're trying to give them the mark of the beast or something like that. And they're not going to stand for it. But mathematics doesn't lie. But if what we read about the Gregorian calendar is true, then we understand that the equinox is not March the 21st, it's not even March the 20th, but it's sometime around March the 18th. But tell me what you think in the comment section of this video. I think it's important to be factual in these times that we're living in, especially when it comes to the feast days and getting their dates correct. So it's important to understand when the equinox is because when you understand how the feast days are declared, the equinox is at the head of the year. If we're starting the year too early, then we could be celebrating the feast days in the wrong month, just like many people will be doing in the year 2021. That reminds me guys, check out our channel for the correct feast days for the year 2021. Like we said, the Gregorian calendar, which is that calendar that you have on your wall or on your phone, does not take into account this 11 minutes, 14.75 seconds. But anyway, if you got something out of this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button, but leave us a comment either way. And may our Father bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May our Father lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.